Now, just as a warning before I start, this video is going to be a very different kind of video. As you're all probably aware, I'm a law channel, and as well as that, I also have the Acheron Colonial News broadcast that pops up once a month to recap everything that happened in the past month. But for unfortunate reasons, I have to step out of my regular content scheduling to cover something that I think is important, and that I thought could not wait until the end of the month to talk about. And that is at the topic of plagiarism. But let me recap the events that led up to this problem so that we can all mostly be on the same page. So last month it was announced that Marvel Comics now possessing the rights to publish Alien, Predator and AVP comics have started their first project. This comes in the form of their first Marvel published uh, Omnibus, with it being said to be the first of many Omnibus volumes to come, being created for the purpose of collecting all previous Dark Horse comic titles into one massive collection eventually. I really like the fact that they are doing this. I thought it would be a wonderful way to encapsulate and pay respects to the creators that came before, as well as giving a new and potentially massive audience a glimpse into these old classic comics. All was going well up until the day when Marvel finally released the cover arts for the two versions of Volume 1 of the Omnibus comic series. So at the beginning of the month on the 2nd of September, right after the reveals of the covers for the Omnibus, we then saw a string of tweets from the popular alien comic artist Tristan Jones. What he showed the community was interesting. Well at least that's one way of putting it. Tristan Jones said, and I quote, Been brewing on this all night. I'm 100% sure I've been Greg Landed. His cover for Marvel's upcoming Omnibus plus my drawings. I saw this on Instagram and recognised the hands right away. Photoshop's snap function even locked my work in when I put it over his. Now when I first saw this uh, post from Tristan I was a little shocked. Previously I had actually really liked the cover that was produced by this artist, or as we should probably now refer to him as Greg Land the Plagiarist. It turns out the reason I was drawn to the cover so much was largely due to the cover being a mesh of our works from my all-time favourite alien artist Tristan Jones's work. Along with Mr Jones's allegations, he provided some proof of his claims, which he did in the form of examples of his work, the cover by Greg Land, and a few of the shots in Photoshop where the program had been able to match up numerous points in Land's artwork with near identical shapes, forms and details when compared to the work of Jones. Of course, being where this stuff was lifted from. Since Jones has come forward with this information, a lot of people have done some digging. And lo and behold, Tristan isn't the only one to have his work stolen for this cover. It seems that pretty much everything, the Xenomorph, the Overmorphs and the Facehugger, and even the Alien's Drool, are all complete rip-offs of others' work. But before I carry on, I wanted to read what Marvel's thoughts on Greg Land are. I made a search for the post on the Marvel Comics webpage and I found this little doozy. This is a quote taken from their very own post that reads, Check out the direct market exclusive cover by artist Mark A. Nielsen below, and be on the lookout for the all new main cover by superstar artist Greg Land. And more news about future alien collections and comic books coming your way. Superstar. Now if this was his first offence, you could probably shake this comment off by Marvel. However, it isn't and he has other allegations stacked against him, all specifically for plagiarising. Land has also faced accusations for lifting images from uh, pornography to include these in comic series such as the Fantastic Four and the Ultimate Power series. However, in the past he has denied all these claims, and if he tries to deny the most recent one, then he really is simply just a scumbag. The proof is staring us all right in the face and it's pretty plain as day to see. The big problem isn't really so much that he has directly copied the works of other artists, but more so that he has not given any credit to the ones that he did, nor has there been any kind of profit sharing going on. If you're going to use Jones's work, like seriously just fucking ask the guy, and obviously he needs to see some sort of compensation. I mean, if it's all going to be Jones' work anyway, why the fuck did Marvel not just contact Jones for the position in the first place? It would have been 
are original and a hundred times better than anything this idiot could have provided. I do apologise if I uh, sound a little bit mad, but it just really sucks to see our beloved alien community leaders and creatives getting the raw end of the deal that they didn't even know that they'd entered into. So there are two versions of this comic omnibus coming out. There is the Mark A. Nelson one and the Greg Land one. I say if you want to buy this, because I still really do, do not support the work of Land. And if you can tweet, post or tag Tristan Jones to Marvel Comics and voice your disdain and let them know that they should really be working with other creatives, more original creatives in the Alien universe, that would be uh, fantastic. Instead of these so-called uh, superstar thieves. Land is, as of this current time, yet to respond to the claims and only time will tell if Marvel will pull their finger out and actually reprimand him. However, I'm aware that this has happened in the past, with both Land and others under Marvel. I know for a fact that fan-created ships and designs from the Star Wars universe are constantly being stolen and used in the pages of Marvel Comics Star Wars and in visual guidebooks. I really just think the least that they could do is give credit to the people that they are stealing from. I mean, is that really so fucking hard? To just write that it was based on this particular person's designs or this person's uh, artwork? But clearly this kind of thing is widespread and it's unlikely uh, if they allowed this to happen for so long um, that it will be corrected anytime soon. But the best way to do something about it is to just not support that cover. Don't buy it. Support Tristan and his work instead and others like him and try and make change through uh, storming the Marvel Comics uh, pages, not with hate, but instead uh, through calling out land and making suggestions for other creators instead. Tristan Jones is a pretty accessible guy, so I contacted him on Twitter to ask him if there was any statement he would like to make through Project Acheron. And he said, and I quote, I wouldn't necessarily begrudge Marvel, because there are a lot of people there that answer to a lot of other people, and a lot of them are probably largely unaware of what Greg's done. Uh, I agree to a degree with this. I don't want people to jump on a bandwagon and simply hate everyone that works for Marvel, but I would hope that it's just a small group making a bad name for the other amazing creators like Jones and other individuals such as Charles Soule who actually work in uh, Marvel Comics. And lastly in smaller news I just wanted to mention that I'll no longer be posting it uh, to or in the LV46 subreddit. I have somewhat given up on them. They have taken down a bunch of my posts in the past for no apparent reason which sort of annoyed me and now with what's going on, friend of the channel uh, Mother9000 of the Studio Yutani blog made a post specifically about the situation between Land and Jones. However, the mods of the LV4-6 subreddit took it down. And what did they say was the reason for this? Well, I'll let Mother explain through her statements on Twitter. I am really disappointed that the r slash LV4-6 reddit took down my post about Greg Land tracing, uh, obviously Tristan Jones's work. They claimed it goes against community spirit. I think what Greg did goes against it. And I couldn't agree more with this. So if that's the way that the community works in that subreddit, then I'll be glad to go. Luckily, there is always the LV223 subreddit where you are not censored for sharing news or having an opinion. So I advise uh, as many of you as will listen to actually go and check that out. Funnily enough, uh, Mother also posted her article in the Marvel Comics subreddit, and it was not taken down from there. So this is very strange and really helps to give a bad name to the LV46 subreddit. So that was really what I wanted to get out into my community, uh, my thoughts and the truth of the situation as I see it. And as I said, don't just go and blindly attack any Marvel employee or shit on Marvel's work as a company. Uh, it's obviously a problem, I know, but there are still good people that are working there. So dealing with this plagiarism is something that will require taking down the right people for their individual wrongdoings. Before I go, I wanted to let you know about the Acheron Colonial Marketplace. The one-stop shop for all Project Acheron merch. Here you can pick up shirts, hoodies, mugs, phone cases and more. So if you want to support the channel and look good doing it, pick up some Acheron merch. But what other videos would you like to see? 
If you have any ideas or have any questions, please leave them in the comments or contact me through Twitter or on the Project Acheron Discord. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and share this video. And if you want to really help see this channel thrive and grow, as well as gain a bunch of awesome rewards for yourself, consider becoming a patron, such as Christopher Dussinger and Ambrosia, leaders of the Project Acheron Hive. I hope to see you all here again very soon, but until then, this is Project Acheron, signing off.